Welcome back, Houston County High School students getting a dose of reality today. Students at Houston County Veterans and Perry High Schools assigned a life and then they had to go through a day as an adult. Sarah Hammond spoke to some students who called it a real eye opener. These high school students spent the day as their 26 year old selves learning how to be an adult and some said now they know what their parents go through. Houston County High Schoolers spent the day learning how to be an adult. They were assigned a job. I'm a librarian. I'm a cook. I'm a police officer. A mechanic. A spouse. And my husband is a bricklayer. A dispatcher. A landscaper. The architect. And children. I have a four-year-old son. A one-year-old. Four-year-old child. A two-month-old baby. Then they had to visit 10 stations to buy things like housing, insurance, food, and child care, all while trying to stay in their budget. And Precious Williams says it's harder than it looks. I'm broke. <laughs> I am broke. Makaya Lamont agrees. Well, I'm broke and I understand like I understand now how my parents are. The fickle hand of fate <laughs> even visited some of the students to deliver flat tires, speeding tickets or a lottery win because that's life. I got a speeding ticket. Ah, oh, speeding <laughs> ticket. Oh. As for what the most surprising major cost was? I think it would be child care because it was $800 for a daycare and that's a lot of money. Robbins Regional Chamber of Commerce President April Bragg says it's all about preparing the future workforce. We want to ensure that they're contributing members of our workforce and our community and not struggling with things like having to live paycheck to paycheck. At the end they had to add it all up to see how they did. I didn't realize how much stuff that you actually have to buy when you actually get on your own. Right now I'm just like frustrated. I'm broke, I'm broke. I need to manage my money a little bit better. <laughs> I know what my mom goes through now. The next reality check session is March 4th for Northside and Warner Robins High. In Warner Robins, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Now April Bragg says this is their first reality check program in Houston County, but she hopes they can continue to use it to teach financial literacy. This course had you talking on social media. Let's take a look. Tyler said, Think of how many young adults could have benefited from this for so many years. Laura says this needs to happen in every school. Talking to my 16 year old about college and buying a car, totally clueless, and she has a 4.0 GPA. Angela says this needs to be a requirement to graduate instead of irrelevant standardized tests. You can tell us what you think of the reality check course on our 13WMAZ Facebook page.